said to you, you guys, some of you weren't here the other day when we were talking upstairs. If you do 10,000 hours, I know it sounds a lot, 10,000 hours, but if you practice 10,000 hours deliberately, you will become a pro. It's guaranteed. If you play the violin for 10,000 hours, if you do basketball, whatever you do for 10,000 hours, you will become a pro. So when I'm saying 10,000 hours, you want these hours to count. So even when you're doing the warm-up, you're going to do the warm-up like the same intensity like you would in a match. In a match, you wouldn't just hit a shot like this. You get down there and then you really hit the shot. So when you guys, next time, I didn't want to disrupt and yell over four courts, but next time you guys are doing that warm-up, think of something you can do to add a little bit more. Like a cake. You might need only three ingredients, but you want the cake to be just a touch more. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla flavoring or something. It's going to make the cake so tasty. So when you're out there practicing, think, what can I do today to add a little notch to it? So what I'm telling you, like a little hint I'm giving you, is when you're at the back, then think of the depth. Think of the spin. Think of your early preparation. Just think of something that you can add to it that you can uh, reap the rewards back out of it. So when you're on the backhand side hitting inside out coins, we're only doing that when we're practicing inside out coins. Hit your cross court backhand. We want to practice as many backhands as we are practicing forehands. So likewise, you and you, both of you, like if you guys are hitting with each other, you should both be practicing that. You don't have to tell them, hey, I'm working on the deep ball. But you should be responsible and go, you know what, we're doing cross courts. Why do I want to hit the ball short? There's no purpose of trying to hit a short unless I'm hitting maybe aggressively short. So that was the only thing I was seeing like in the warm-up. If, if you guys can get on them to really be deliberate because then those hours are like counting to their 10,000 hours. Do you agree? Yeah. Do y'all have any questions for Ms. Lethal? Does anybody understand what she's talking about? doing a sprint right and then you're done with the sprint and I'll tell you did you give a hundred percent you think you did well maybe you gave 98 percent maybe you could have given just a little bit more okay everybody come here stand out here stand out here you leave your rackets reach reach as high as you can this is this is what Dennis taught me reach as high as you can as high okay Reach even higher. See, you guys didn't reach as high as you can the first time because I told you reach even higher. So that's the same thing. Did you give your best out there? Yes, you think you gave your best, but I can see the talent in all of you. You can give even more. So for me, when I come back here in a year's time and I see you guys, you say, hey, Liesl, that tip you gave me about giving even more, I'm doing that. And you'll see improvement much more, much quicker. So when you guys watch me play, you'll see I'm very intense. But I am intense because I see improvement. Then I want more.